Hey, welcome. I hope you're doing good. Thank you for joining me. So today's reading is good news. What good news is on its way? What good news is manifesting for you guys within the next week or few weeks? Um, but I did do it for like near future, you know, type of energy. But we have three groups for you to choose from today. Group one, the Fuse Light Crystal. Group two, the Clear Quartz Geode. And group three, the rainbow moonstone. What good news is on its way, right? So if you do want to take a moment to choose your group, uh, feel free, but I will see you all in your readings. Hi, welcome. If you've chosen the first group, the few sight crystal, then this reading is for you. What good news is on its way? Okay, so we have the lovers upright. We have the six of wands in reverse. And we have the magician in reverse as well. So what good news is on its way? Okay, so it seems for this group, you're going to be developing a deeper connection and relationship to a person or a specific group of people, a group of people who share your interests, maybe goals, maybe uh, lifestyle. Uh, but these people will help you progress, especially if you have been stuck in a bit of a rut. And for some of you, they could literally be helping you progress in some area, like say, for example, uh, a gym buddy might help you progress in losing weight or toning, toning up or whatever it may be. So it, it, it could be like really specific to certain areas of your life. For some of you, it could be, uh, you know, helping you progress in your career or your personal personal life or a hobby you have or for some of you it could just be energetically and kind of just moving you out of uh, maybe a stagnant energy um and for some of you they could be helping you progress uh in an area of your life that you have been maybe resisting or putting off a little bit um but it feels like this group will give you opportunities to take yourself out of your comfort zone. Uh, the good news for this group is that you're going to feel like you have multiple choices and options. For a lot of you, this could be in terms of love. Also career, maybe doing something that you love. Maybe some of you are contemplating whether you can do what you love and do what you need to do. So kind of like finding balance between what brings you stability uh, and doing what you love. And the good news is, is that you won't have to choose or you won't have to make um, a sacrifice. For this group, it feels like life is going to feel a lot more peaceful, uh, harmonious and balanced. It feels like you're going to be feeling stronger and stable. Uh, you're also going to be healing and this healing could refer to a few different things, maybe career, health. Uh, for a lot of you, this could be confidence, self-worth with this six of wands being in reverse. Uh, for some of you, it could be indecision over what you are going to do next. So it feels like there is going to be this healing energy uh, that you're manifesting. And also for some of you, the good news is that someone in your life is going to be less combative towards you or standoffish. And it may make an environment you share with this person easier to be a part of. 
for some of you, you may even become good friends with this person or just, you know, become closer to this person. It also feels like you're going to be recognized for something, uh, your work, your mind, a project. But this is something that you want. And it's also something you deserve to be recognized in. For some of you, this is like more views, if that resonates for you, uh, more attention or awareness about something you're doing or something you feel strongly about. For some of you, this may not even have anything to do with like doing anything external, like whether it's, you know, a project or whatever. It could just be recognition for you and attention on you, you know. Like, especially if you have been feeling overlooked. And some of you may not even crave the spotlight, but it seems like that is what you're going to be getting. Um, but the good news, I guess, is that it won't feel uncomfortable or you won't feel like uh, an imposter. And it also feels like this group, you're defining your own definition of success, which helps you attract even more. And it also feels like this group is going to experience a victory, but this feels like a personal victory, maybe a private victory. Uh, for some of you, it could be weight loss, if that's something that you've been, um, you know, wanting or working on. For some of you, it could be organizing a busy schedule and staying on top of it without it um, being overwhelming. Uh, for others, this could be a financial uh, victory. Um, or it could be a victory in terms of you not investing your time, maybe your money and energy into the wrong things. So it feels like for this group as well, like you may not be at the finish goal um, or at the finish line at the moment. And it may not be something that kind of manifests within the next few weeks as well. Ooh. But, but the good news is, is that you're going to feel proud of where you're at and the progress that you have made and the progress you're making. And eventually you will get out of it what you have put in. Um, but it may not manifest straight away. You know, that's, that's all. And this could be when it comes to projects, ideas, something that you're really passionate about. Possibly something creative for some of you guys. But with both of these cards in reverse, the Six of Wands and the Magician, it feels like you're going to realize there's no point in rushing to the finish line and the process will be a lot more beautiful that way when you aren't rushing. Uh, it feels like you'll kind of be able to really take it in. And the good news is, is that you'll know when the time is right and you won't be manifesting these things out of desperation, which can mess with your manifestations. Um, but when you do it with that calm, calmness and with longevity in mind, uh, it feels like your manifestations will happen much easier, even if it does take a bit longer. But it feels like it will be more uh, like sustainable that way, if that makes sense. And only take this if it resonates, but it also feels like this group will be dropping some arrogance or bravado. It feels like you may realize 
that you'll get better results if you don't hold on to that energy, you know? Um, but that is all I have for those of you who chose this group. I do hope it could be helpful, makes sense. Um, but I'm wishing you all the best, all right? Take care. Bye. Hello, what good news do we have for those of you who chose the clear quartz geode? I hope you're doing good. So what good news do we have? We have the tower in reverse. We have the two, we have the two of wands upright. And we have the page of pentacles also upright. Okay, so for this group, the good news, <laughs> even though sometimes people don't really see this as good news, but it feels like for this group, you're going to be experiencing a spiritual awakening. And this awakening, it feels like it's going to stop you from stalling. It feels like it's going to push you to make the changes that need to be made. Um, you know, especially with the tower being in reverse, so like making changes so that potentially you're avoiding uh, a negative outcome, you know, or not necessarily a negative outcome or just like an unfavorable set of circumstances. It feels like for this group, you're getting the opportunity to change that. Um, and it also feels like for this group, the good news is that you're going to discover what your purpose is and discover new meaning in your life discovering a new direction or maybe reconnecting with um, you know a direction you had in the past maybe you know things got in the way or maybe you lost your way a little bit but it feels like you are reconnecting with a purpose your purpose one of your purposes you know and finding direction it definitely feels like it's going to pull you out of a rut, pull you out of stagnation. Um, it feels like this group, you're going to stop holding on to the old, the old ways of being and thinking, cutting out the things that are no longer helpful as well. For some of you, this could be cutting off old relationships and kind of making peace with certain relationships that haven't worked out. Um, but it feels like this group, even though you are kind of getting rid of a lot of old ways of thinking and, you know, being, um, there's just like a message and advice to not adopt another person's views and their ways of being like even though you are going through these changes you're being like encouraged to not lose yourself at the same time like just because you're getting rid of you know, old ways of thinking and stuff that, you know, it doesn't work, it doesn't mean you're not still you, you know, so for some of you, um, your guides just want you to kind of keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, the good news is that you're going to be less reliant on a specific person in your life. This is someone who kind of keeps you stuck, whether it's intentional or unintentional. But this person could make you feel like you need them, you know? Like this could be someone you're quite codependent on, but this person makes you feel maybe like it's okay to be codependent on them. Or they maybe even encourage you to be 
uh, codependent on them. But it feels like um, feel like this group, you're going to realize the power of independence and you know trusting yourself. This could be someone you're in a relationship with, or a connection with, or a friend, family member for some of you guys. Another thing is that you're going to feel a lot more appreciated by by just being yourself. And some of you could be feeling anxious about the process you know, and making changes, or maybe even a process you're currently going through. Um, but the good news is, is that you're not going to feel that anxiousness uh, moving forward. And it feels like these changes will happen quite naturally. So it's nothing that you would need to like maybe panic about or, or changes that will kind of happen in chaos. It feels like it will kind of happen quite naturally. So that is maybe like one less thing that you would need to worry about. It also feels like you are avoiding a, possibly a negative outcome, maybe avoiding chaos or something kind of like, you know, when like the rug is swept out from underneath you and it's just like, ah, like you just don't really see it coming. It feels like this group, you're going to be avoiding that. Um, and for a lot of you, this feels like the reason why you're avoiding that could be because you are letting go of negative feelings and, you know, like what came out earlier, old ways of thinking and being. Um, yeah, so maybe letting go of negative feelings. For some of you, maybe even letting go of wanting someone else to fail or wishing someone harm, you know, whatever the reason for that is. But only take that if it resonates, like having those bad intentions or those bad feelings towards another person. Overall, like it feels like you are growing and evolving. And it also feels like your life is going to have less structure and like less rigidness. But it seems like a good thing. Um, it will help attract fresh energy, new options, new opportunities. And, you know, when it, when it, when, um, when it says like less structure, it feels like maybe there's like a very like strict routine. It doesn't even have to be a strict routine. Like it could just be a monotonous routine where everything just is like eat, sleep, repeat type of thing. Um, but it feels like you are breaking free of that energy. There's also going to be a truth or a secret that is also coming to light. This could be about someone else. And this could actually be good news. The secret that you find out. Um, you may find out about someone's good fortune. But it, it just feels like you would be really happy for this person. So that could be another piece of good news. Another bit of good news is that a partnership you already have with someone will be strengthening. It also feels like some of you in this group will be moving home. Maybe it's been a long time coming, but you'll be finding somewhere you'll feel settled. You'll also feel more comfortable and content, like being patient and again, like just trusting the process. You're also going to be feeling a lot more present and less detached and withdrawn. It also feels like you'll be able to spend a lot more time in nature, maybe out and about in general.
but it feels like your commitment to yourself will be stronger like say for example you want to do something but you know your determination kind of sways or you don't really feel like it and you know things get in the way but for this time it feels like things are going to be different it feels like your commitment to yourself and you know your goals will be stronger it feels like you're going to be feeling more ambitious more focused and kind of seeing things through and again just trusting the process being patient with the process and it also feels like you'll be meeting people who are more dependable being in a team with these people um it doesn't feel like in a codependent way though um and yeah it just feels like this group is going to be feeling a lot more confident and grounded or things are aligning that way that encourage you encourages you to feel that way and it also feels like this group you're going to be channeling your energy in healthy and more productive ways too but that is all i have for those of you who chose this group i do hope it could be helpful and make sense um, but I'm wishing you all the best, all right? Please take care of yourselves. Bye. Hi, welcome. I hope you're doing good. If you've chosen the third group with the rainbow moonstone in this reading, it's for you. So, what is the good news for this group? What good stuff is this group manifesting? We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Temperance card also in reverse. And we have the Page of Cups upright. Alright, so the good news for this group, it feels like you're going to be looked after, you know, and this could be by your loved ones, your friends, you know, people in your community, you could be feeling a lot more supported in that way, but for a lot of you as well, it could be, um, you know, the most high that's looking after you and the universe that's looking after you, um, but the idea for this group is that you're going to be feeling looked after and it feels like this group you could be the ones that's usually looking after and nurturing other people being the mediator being the peacemaker resolving other people's conflicts and having you know some or most of your needs like not being met um, but if that feels like that's changing you know it feels like people are going to realize that the care and attention you give to them needs to be reciprocated you know maybe people start to notice that your cup is empty and uh, they realize it's empty because you're continuously pouring into them and to other things and they're kind of going to realize that maybe you know you need some love and attention being poured into your cup and again for some of you this may not be the people around you it could be universal and the most high that's kind of pouring into your cup um but yeah so this group is going to be feeling pampered feeling looked after uh, like you're surrounded by love money is also going to come easier to this group some of you could be getting cash out of nowhere, uh, increase in sales, increase in clients, extra income or promotion or a pay increase. And 
the good news for this group is that you're going to have the opportunity to be just selfish for a little while, you know, to do things that are just for you. And overall, it feels like you're going to be making the choice to drop other people's burdens, you know, resulting in less stress, less angst, and more time for yourself. It also feels like this group, you're going to be handling conflict a lot better. For some of you, it could be ignoring it altogether. And again, just like putting your well-being first. And putting your well-being first, entertaining conflict won't help that cause. And it feels like some of you are going to be realising that. It also feels like you're going to be able to make more reckless decisions. And this doesn't feel like a bad thing. It just feels like this group could be so used to doing the right thing, being responsible, being stable, and you know, kind of playing it safe. Um, but it feels like you're going to be able to just have some fun, relax a little, be a little bit irresponsible, let your hair down, and um, colour outside the lines, you know, <laughs> and not have to be super serious. And it also feels like <clears throat> things are aligning in a way where you'll be able to stop feeling on edge, uh, maybe hostile. And maybe also the things that kind of add fuel to that fire, um, they're going to become irrelevant or those you know, things are going to be dropping away as well. For some of you, people could be competing with you. People could see you as a rival. Some of you could literally have rivals and it feels like they're going to disappear. For others of you, though, you could be like completely unaware of these people who are in competition with you or feel like they're in competition with you or see you as a rival. Um, but them kind of being hyper-focused on you and viewing you that way um, could be like, messing with you energetically but it feels like these people and you know these rivals are going to be disappearing whether you know who these people are or you don't but they're going to be falling away as well it also feels like this group you're gonna realize or you're gonna see that you were right to not trust someone it feels like you're going to get confirmation for that the good news as well for this group is that you're going to be feeling less lonely you're also going to have the opportunity to let go of some of your responsibilities for a little while i may have said that already Some of you could be aware, you could be unaware, but it feels like there are a few people who could be jealous of you. Um, either they're gonna they're gonna stop, you know, kind of put their attention towards other things, or they are going to have bigger things to worry about other than you minding your own business, you know. So either way, it just feels like if you've kind of felt an evil eye on you. that energy is being returned to sender even if they are doing it unintentionally you know it also feels like tempers are going to be calm 
so there won't be much cause for your temper to rise especially if that has been an issue you know recently and this could be due to both you making a conscious decision and the universe kind of helping you and kind of removing these stresses and you or you finding a better way to deal with them that doesn't you know provoke you or doesn't cause you to like make your blood boil you know um so yeah it feels like you're going to have a lot more control over yourself um but also in terms of uh, indulging or overindulging in things that aren't healthy for you uh, things are also going to be speeding up for you too this could be referring to work projects um, for some of you like art if you do that But this is an area of your life where you have been incredibly patient. It's also going to feel safe for you to feel and be vulnerable and sensitive. And if any of you have a crush, right, it feels like there's going to be some nice progress between you two within the next few weeks. Um, and it also feels like your creativity and your art history in some way will be excelling as well. But that is all I have for those of you who chose this group. I do hope it could be helpful and make sense. Um, but I'm wishing you all the best, alright? Please take care of yourself. Bye.